Hello everyone, so here's the final installment of all of the Charlotte Tilbury lipstick collections. Today I'm going to do the Kissing Lipstick line. So if you were to buy all 10 of the permanent lipsticks, they would come in the same type of box set that the Matte Revolution lipsticks come in, which looks like this. And then the lipstick are inside. These are not the actual Kissing Lipsticks, this is my Matte Revolution set but my kissing lipsticks are back over there i didn't get them all in one box set i ended up getting half of them um, with the blush and then half of them i bought individually so if you were to buy the box set it's going to cost you 305 us dollars so you save a little bit because they are 32 dollars a piece but if you were to buy them individually they come in a packaging such as this that's more of like a kind of glossy type of finish with the rose gold and it says kissing falling from the lipstick tree all right guys so let's zoom in and let's get this lip swatch thing video collection done <laughs> all right so i'm going to be swatching these lipsticks the same format that i did the matte revolution lipsticks i'm going to start with the lightest shade and then work my way to the darkest shade first 10 are going to be from the permanent lipstick line that you can find Anywhere the Charlotte Tilbury is sold and the last two are going to be from limited edition collections that are no longer available. So the first one is Nude Kate and it's described as a iconic biscuit, berry, biscuit beige hue. So that is Nude Kate and that's Nude Kate swatched. And this is one of my favorite nudes. And I usually apply it with um, iconic nude lip liner. And I really think I, Nude Kate looks good on a variety of skin tones. Okay. So that is Nude Kate swatched in the bullet and Nude Kate on me. Next up we have Hepburn Honey. This is what Hepburn Honey looks like. So it's a more of a darker beige type of pink nude so this was nude kate and then this is hepburn honey so you can see that it has more of a pink to it this is going to be more flattering on deeper skin tones and this one as well i wear this with iconic nude i tend to wear this more than nude kate because it's just so easy to wear. On like an everyday basis. Okay. So that is Hepburn Honey. Right there swatched. That's Hepburn Honey in the tube. And this is Hepburn Honey on me. Okay, guys, so the next three colors, unfortunately, when I was doing this lip swatch video earlier during the day, I forgot to press the record button, so those three shades didn't get recorded. But nonetheless, I'm going to do them now with the artificial lighting that I have. Hopefully, you'll still get an idea of what the colors look like. So the first one is Penelope Pink, and this is named after Penelope Cruz, and it's a nudie pink type of color. And so that's what Penelope Cruz looks like swatched. I'll show you guys what it looks like on me. And I would, be, I would wear this particular lipstick shade with either Pillow Talk or Pink Venus, but I tend to use it with Pillow Talk. And it goes really well with like a very dramatic eye look, like the Dolce Vita palette. Okay, so that is Penelope Pink swatched. That's what the bullet looks like. This is what Penelope Pink looks like on me. 
Next shade we have is Bitch Perfect, and Bitch Perfect literally is like the perfect pink nude and looks good on a variety of skin tones. And that is Bitch Perfect Swatch. So you can see Penelope Pink is more of a nudie pink type of color. And then Bitch Perfect has more of that pink um, tone to it and would suit a variety of skin tones and is very easy to wear on an everyday basis. And I usually pair this with Pink Venus, but you can also wear it with um, Pillow Talk, depending on how much of the pink you want to pull. And this is my favorite pink nude. And I tend to wear this color a lot. I have like three of them. <laughs> no joke. I have one in my purse, one in my gym bag, and one at home. Okay, so that is Bitch Perfect Swatch. That's Bitch Perfect in the tube. And this is Bitch Perfect on my lips. It's Stone Rose, and Stone Rose was one of the first colors that I gravitated towards in the Charlotte Tilbury lipstick line. And this is Stone Rose, so you can see it's much darker of the three out of the pinks and much more of a rosy tone to it. And I usually wear this with Pillow Talk or the lip liner Savage Rose. Very easy color to wear as well. Okay, so there is Savage Rose swatched. There's what it looks like in the tube. And this is Savage Rose on me. And I'm sorry that these colors weren't, um, didn't get recorded during the daylight, but hey, it's better than nothing, right? Next <laughs> up is Coachella Coral. And it's a bright pink coral color so that is Coachella coral there you can see the pink in it and you can see the coral in it compared to the other two colors way more of a bright pop type of color I love the creaminess, the creaminess of these particular lipsticks because they just glide right on and they feel so comfortable and they have like a sheen to it. I really like that. Okay, so here's Coachella Coral on my lips and there's Coachella Coral swatched and there it is in the bullet. All right, now we have Love Bite, which is a very bright red not your traditional blue base red but there is more of like a bright type of orange kind of tone to it but still on the red side very pigmented you can see that and I would wear this with um, the lip liner that's for the red color I forget the name of it Definitely a color that you want to maybe um, make sure that you have a lip liner. Lip liner is called Kiss and Tell, and maybe use a lip brush. So this is Love Bite, swatched in the bullet, and on me. The next red is Love Marilyn. Now this is more of your blue-based traditional red. And you can see that when you see the difference in the two colors. So this one was Love Bites. You can see that it has more of like a bright, more orangey type of red, whereas this is more of your blue-based traditional type of red. Also a color that I would wear the Kiss and Tell lip liner with. Sorry about the application. I'm just trying to do it in the viewfinder. So it's kind of probably look a little horrendous. Okay, 
So there is Love Marilyn. There's Love Marilyn swatched. Very, very pretty, sexy red. <laughs> There's another one of my favorite colors from this line, and this is Velvet Underground. And this is like a hot fuchsia, hot pink Barbie color. So that is Velvet Underground. Love this color. This is a Barbie eat your heart out color. Okay, so there is Velvet Underground swatched, a like fuchsia blue based type of magenta color, very Barbie eat your heart out. <laughs> so this next one is the last color from the permanent collection and this is Night Crimson. This is what Night Crimson looks like. It's a dark burgundy type of color like a dark burgundy wine type of color very pretty love this color during the fall and winter time and I would also apply this with one of the lip liners as well maybe maybe um, Barry Naughty would look really nice or Bad Romance would look really nice with this one okay so that is Night Crimson swatched in the tube and on me so that's all of the 10 permanent colors from um, the Kissing Lipstick line. Now the next two are were limited edition, but are now sold out. This next one I'm going to show you is called Confessions, and it was one of the first products I ever purchased from the line. I purchased Confessions and Pillow Talk Lip Liner, and then it was game over after that. So this Confessions, this came out when the Charlotte Tilbury line first launched in 2014, around um, fall. And this is what confessions look like. It's like a beige pinky nude color. That's confessions right there. And I heard that they're gonna be bringing this color back, so let's hope she does because it's a beautiful color. And I usually wear this with pillow talk. And if you're wondering what look this went with, this went with the um, Falling from an Angel uh, supermodel look. Okay, so that's Confessions, swatched in my hand, on my lips, and that's it in the bullet. All right, so the last one, it was a limited edition color from, I believe, February of 2016, this is Kiss Chase. And this is my favorite out of all the Charlotte Tilbury collections color and shade this is Kiss Chase right there it's like a very pink berry type of color and I kick myself all the time for not getting a backup so I did what any Tilbury addict would do I purchased the entire hot date look so I have a backup of the lipstick now <laughs> I'm crazy, I know. I mean, come on. This is such a Mona Khan color. How could, how could I not love it so much? All right, so that is Kiss Chase Watched. And this is what Kiss Chase looks in the tube. Not available anymore, unfortunately, but hey, I wanted to show you guys everything. All right, guys, so that is the entire Kissing Lipstick collection from Charlotte Tilbury. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, please do so. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks. Bye.